I'm going to Evo. Oh yeah, I'm let's just go to Evo. Representing. I'm so I checked the brackets. Uh, there's this guy named Nobi. I was like, man, this is you so familiar, Nobi. right? Yeah. Nobi son, both former Evo champions. Um, okay, this guy was not put on your list, but I think he merits discussion because of the comments he left before. Mike being the game genie. You had made a comment, Lester, that uh, oh, you I don't watch, watch his yeah. ish. What up, YouTube? Nate here. Lester. And today we're doing a video blog. Miss everybody. Funny thing about today's video blog, Lester, we're looking for video games. Good. I'm actually picking up some video games as we speak. That was my question, actually. Yeah. What games and how did you find these games? Uh, honestly, I know I said I wanted to delete the local retro video game market, but it's been a source of comedy for me. Sorry, local video game market page on Facebook, I should say. I was gonna delete it because it was very annoying people getting mad at each other for prices and calling each other out blah 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 just a bunch of vultures <laughs> you know I was gonna delete it but there were some comedic things on there that I didn't delete anyways there was one guy who you know except for like the, the text exchange which is really hard to gauge somebody's cadence and stuff when you're texting them back and forth was actually relatively fair on his price and he didn't seem too bad and then we started texting each other I'm like is this guy mad at me because <laughs> i was like hey can uh can i buy those games off he's like sure when do you want to pick them up by i was like oh damn you know i think saturday i'm free i was like i was like oh can't you pick it up sooner i'm like no <laughs> not really and he seemed kind of salty about it but again he's texting me back and forth i'm sure he wasn't then he texted me last night. I was just about to text him back, actually. And he's like, when are you going to pick up those games? And he's like the question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. Whoa. What does that mean? How do, how do I take this? So anyways, <laughs> that's how I found him. Local uh, retro video game Facebook page. I'm picking up a couple games. That's the whole thing now for, for me anyways, video games. Games that uh, I haven't, I've kind of neglected over my career as a retro video game hunter. I haven't ever picked up Mario is Missing and Mario Lost in Time. Which I know they're not great games. No, but it's okay. As a kid, I rented it, like, multiple times just to figure out how to play it. Because <laughs> I didn't get that game as a kid. Maybe now as, a, as an adult I will. But they were cheap. They were like 10 bucks a piece. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And you were like the first one to scoop it. No, I, I, I don't know. know. I, I think a lot... You, you like... know, locally... Everyone's just looking for, you know, the Castlevania 4 and the Rondos of Blood. You know what I mean? This is the really, the key games, I guess. Like, yeah. to put in comic book terms, the key issues. Nobody cares about those Mario's other games. Missing, yeah. yeah. They will know, never know the gems of Dino Stalker. Never and played that. No? Um, it's on hold for me at PNP. We're going to go pick it up today. The one over uh, by, by my house. Oh, okay. Over. Sorry, this is a long story just to say the games I'm picking up. We're going to follow up with the list of Lester. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy that? Oh, I loved it. I, I love the response. Everyone's like, whoa. <laughs> you got a couple like left field almost. Yeah. It's yeah. like, holy crap. I think they'll get better as, as we do. Lester is a very opinionated person. Uh, we got some submissions from you guys of names to be added to said list. And I think we should clear the air with some some particular Canadian YouTuber. And just YouTube in general. Yeah. Yeah. No hate on Thrift Dollar. There's never hate on Thrift Dollar. <laughs> All love. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's just go to Evo! Representing, I'm, I'm gonna go to the shirt place. I'm probably gonna print out a Thrift Store shirt. Seriously? I, have, I already had Can the video all planned out. It's gonna be like a Who's good 40 minutes. My brother and them being my cousins. Oh nice. In, in, from the States. So, <laughs> anyway. So, a couple of days ago, I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. So it was like 4 in the morning. I was like, oh, I'm gonna check my bracket. Maybe it's up already. <laughs> I checked my bracket. And I'm in the bracket where... In for the which first game round, is this for? Sorry. Tekken 7. I didn't right. want to pay the extra $10 American to be in Street Fighter 5. Because I already had this year, they raised the price to seventy five dollars American just to get into the event. So that's like two hundred dollars Canadian. So anyway, I uh, oh God. 
So I checked the brackets, and uh, there's this guy named Nobi. Yeah. And um, I was like, man, this is you so familiar, Nobi. right? Yeah. Sainto versus Nobi san, both former Evo champions, two of the best players here. And I'm like, oh my god, not this Nobi, right? I check on sh the Shoryuken uh, forums because they ha actually have a list of the top players in tournaments for the year. So last year, Nobi won. He was top 10 of Tekken 7 last year. He was like mm -hmm. 5 or 6. This year in tournaments, he's 13th in the world for Tekken tournaments. And what, and are, you, what are you ranked? Fighting him. What are you ranked? I'm fucking ranked whatever. I don't know. I, I don't think know you're unranked. I'm unranked. <laughs> I don't go into tournaments. I just went because I was like, man, I need oh, to go to the Ninja Scope Vegas. Whenever you're going to ever, I would go participate in Evo even though I know yeah, I wouldn't win. I know. I'll, and this is the awesome thing. I'm going to ask the dude, oh, like, I'm just going to ask him, hey, like, can you look into the camera and be like, I kicked Lester's ass. You have no idea. I was like swearing in bed. I was like, fuck, man, I paid, <laughs> I paid, I paid, oh, wait, wait, 75 American plus the fee that I had to so pay for funny. the thing. $10 yeah. to get into the tournament. Yeah, after in Canadian, that's $122. Woo I paid $122 just to get, get my ass, ass kicked, kicked in the first round. Was double elimination, so, I, so like, yeah, at least two games. I get two games. Man. The most expensive arcade <laughs> in the world, fifty dollars a play. Yeah, I was just like, oh Damn. my god. But hey, you know, when are you ever gonna be able to do that again? Exactly. Right? Yeah, and apparently there's uh, twelve thousand thirty eight, or not twelve thousand, uh, one thousand two hundred thirty eight people who register for this tournament. So technically, you'll I'm be the world top, ranked. Yeah, I'm the top one thousand two hundred thirty eight. Yeah. We should go to this thrift store here. They wouldn't sell me an item because it had no price tag on it. Oh yeah, there's a sale at PNP Games, but let's go inside the store first. Oh, the ally is 20 bucks? Okay, I'm gonna get, oh, cause I was gonna get Evo shirts. Yeah, boy, Evo shirt. <laughs> she got a shirt sponsored by PNP. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here's a, this is a great game right there. Odin Sphere. I shall send you to the netherworld. The Halia will take care of you. Lord Melvin! The pride that keeps you so fearless will be the thing that leads to your death. PS2 is very underrated, eh? PS2 is the greatest. The greatest, you say? I love it. I still play mine, man. <laughs> she by Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I remember as a kid, the only time you would ever see these games is on VHS for like tips and tricks videos. Like the indie games? Or yeah. Videos? yeah. Like the crappy games that you'll never buy. Like who's gonna want to buy Gilligan's Island? That was a rental strictly. There's a sale right now for PS4 games here. 20 bucks for like Sony exclusive games. Ooh. Dedicated to Sega Stoner. Mm. Look at this here, Sega Genesis. Factory sealed supermodel of Barbie? I should get that graded. Factory sealed with the Shaq Fu CD. 15 bucks. Nobody wants this. It's like factory sealed. Is this history? It's crap. <laughs> yeah, so bad that they're, the they're making a remake of it today. Yeah. I don't know. This, this, I don't know why this game looks so fake to me. Is this game fake? Do you guys know? Comment below. Like, shrink wrapped after it's been opened, I mean. Fake. Here, more Barbie. Oh, they have a lot of Barbie games. Puppy Rescue. That's the rescue. Is this gonna become expensive again? Or popular? Backwards compatibility? No. Oh, man. Because there's gonna be digitals, too. That's why it's just like... Mm. How come not a lot of people like this game? I like this game. 
I sold my uh, GameCube version, which apparently was a bad idea because now it's worth a lot more than I sold oh, it for. <laughs> but I was playing it, I was like, man, playing a Street Fighter game on GameCube is ridiculous. Right? Yeah. It's amazing you, Lester. It's an import. Arc System Works, they're doing really cool stuff, actually. Freaking, they're developing the Dragon Ball game, man. They did you the Dragon, that? the double, yeah. The, I saw that, sorry. The double Dragon game I thought was okay. I'm waiting for that to go on sale. I'm cheap. It was $10. Pixel Pals, that's cool. So uh, we're in this guy's neighborhood. We still live around here. We're only like four blocks down. Now this is a, like the area that I grew up in, kinda. I think I'll just bring in the exact change to this guy's house. <laughs> All right, if we're not back in half an hour, somebody call the cops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're still waiting for that guy. But uh, yeah, PNP or local retro video game store or just video game store having a sale on. Is that a sale everywhere? No, it's just them, actually. No, oh, PlayStation exclusive games, physical copies. Can you show the one I picked up? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. And this is what I thought was the best value for my buck. It was Uncharted Collection for the PS4. Yep. I've never played that game before. Have you? Let us know. A few moments later. I've been awake since 10. So, uh, okay. We've been waiting for this guy here. To, uh, you know, we're doing a sale for these games here. So I'm messaging him, I'm like, all right, I'm here, man, just let me know uh, when I can knock on your door, you know, right? We were, so we're sitting here, like, I feel, I texted him this, I feel awkward uh, knocking on your door, you know, what if he's sleeping or mm -hmm. in his underwear? <laughs> There's a body on the floor, I don't know. So I, me and Lester are like, okay, when's a good time to just go knock on his door? And Lester's like, don't even knock, just leave. <laughs> if he's not texting me back, leave. So I've been messaging him. I'm like, all right. I said that I waited 10 minutes after the arranged time. I was like, uh, sorry, ahead of time. I'm going to knock on your door now. <laughs> sorry if you're like naked. And his mom answers the door and she hands me these two games. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so weird, eh? So I bought these two games for 10 bucks a piece, mainly because I've neglected to buy them over the years. So I thought for 10 bucks each Canadian, it was fun. It's fine price. Uh, Mario is missing. And I didn't notice on the back, which, whatever, I'm not a big, I don't care, because I can back swap that. Look at that. Oh, That's whatever. nasty. But again, I didn't ask, I guess. Thank God this one doesn't have it on the back. Mary was missing. Funny enough, I have the manuals for both these games. Oh, dude. So, actually, I think I have the box for Mary was missing, too. The, uh, what are these ones? The Software Toolworks Mario games? Very, uh, oh, yeah. unappreciated. Yeah. What are your thoughts on those specific games, Lester? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, really. I played them. It's good for five minutes. Whatever. You know, if you guys can fill holes, why not? Yeah. If what people, are, sorry, go ahead. Get, if people are getting rid of stuff for $10, that's a good deal. Whatever, man. Like, what's $10? It's like a meal at McDonald's. And go, comment below if you guys, I'm sure a lot of you do deals with people, classified ads or whatever. You know, so you arrange the time to meet a guy, he gives you his address and a time. Do you just go at the door at the arranged time or do you like message him ahead of time and go, hey, I'm here now, can I come to your door? Or would you be the guy who just walks up to the door and is like, knock, knock, knock? Is I wrong for waiting? I don't know. It's always safety first in Thrift Dweller, man. Seriously, like when I buy stuff online, always have to meet a public place. I don't care who you are, I'm not gonna pick it up from your house. Well, Especially I'm, dealing with like electronics and stuff, man. Can you never know? I'm not going inside hot. your house. I don't mind yeah, staying exactly. at your doorstep. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not retro Robbie, but I can handle myself pretty okay. The jaw of bald bull, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tough with it. I got my, my coach here, <laughs> yeah. Doc, Doc Lester. So that being said, I'm not gonna go to my old house just because time is very. We wasted too much time waiting for that guy. Time is money, man. Time is money, exactly. But I want to continue with the list of Lester. <laughs> we had a... Evil. <laughs> now, the concept of this list, Lester, is what? Um, 
I just, uh, I, I don't even know what the concept was. It's like, what annoys me, man? People, <laughs> names, yeah. and things that annoy you on your list. Yes. Is basically, it just, it's mostly fun. Some of it's serious. We, we copied it off Chris Jericho's The List of Jericho. Yeah. Disco Inferno from the Keeping It 100 podcast has his own list, list of disco. Yeah. People that annoy him. A lot of controversy from your last, your first list, Lester. Your first list. So, uh, again, people, you can comment below. Let me know if you want me to ask Lester about a certain person's name. <laughs> if you should put them on the list or not. And give an explanation why. We'll shout you out on this video. Okay. Okay. We're going to recap the names from last week. Lester can decide whether he wants to keep them on the list or not and explain why. We will go through the viewers' comments for names and comments, I guess, about your list. And then you can discuss those topics. And then we will add new, you know, if a name pops up in your head, Lester, you want to add it to the list. The first I got name, a main one now. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. The first name we had on last week's list was 64-Bit Matthew. He had bought <laughs> the, the Hulk Hogan thing. Is he on your list again this week? Yes, only because... Apparently, he's like the ish at NBA hang time. Oh, is he? I doubt that. I, I doubt still, that. I still have my file from when we were kids, man. My undefeated file, like 68 and 0. <laughs> Does he have the arcade? Or he no? has the arcade. He has the actual oh. arcade. And he didn't invite us out to, to, to his home. I almost spilled the beans. Where apparently where yeah. he lives is very racist. He ends on my list too, man. What the hell? Why is he in on your list? <laughs> Goes to. He goes or, to Matt's hometown. Or, oh, sorry, Ian goes to Matt's hometown. It was all last minute, though. I mean, we're all friends. Didn't invite us, right? Yeah. <laughs> the only Filipinos. No. It's funny because where he lives, somebody put like, I guess, racist graffiti yeah. on like the "Welcome to Matt's Hometown" sign, yeah. which is not the name of his hometown. And it's like no Filipinos or something like that spray painted it's on. It's only one bad apple. Yeah, liar. and no I noticed. Really like uh, here in Winnipeg. Notice uh, Lester and Nathaniel, the two Filipinos of Thrift Dollar, were not invited to this all the time. I'm sure that was an we're oversight. Kidding. Yeah, it was an oversight. It's all good, man. But anyway. You want to challenge 64-bit Matthew? Oh, I will. Any version of He will hang stay time. on your list? Care. Maximum regular hang time. It's over, man. He's will on he my stay list. on your list He's until he plays you? Yeah, or and then if he beats me, then he'll still be on my list. He might stay on your list for beating you. Yeah. So... <laughs> And Ian's on your list because you're jealous that he went. Yeah, he went. Well, I could have went too. I just, man. Wasn't invited. No, he, they asked. But I was just like, hmm. uh, I don't know why. Actually, no. Ian's not on my list. No. No? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was excited to add another name to your yeah. list. Um, okay, this guy was not put on your list, but I think he merits discussion because of the comments he left before. Mike being the game genie. You had made a comment, Lester, that uh, oh, you don't watch, watch his yeah. ish. Now, do you mean that you don't watch him specifically? Or is that just a general comment on your just YouTube? Just a general comment. YouTube? General comment. Like, there's a lot of people I just... Oh, I, I've watched his uh, live streams. I've actually watched him playing Zelda and stuff. And whenever he plays uh, anything new, I actually watch those when they pop up. But no, like, in general, yeah, it's just a general thing. Like, me, personally... I actually don't watch a lot. I only watch the gaming channels that I watch are the ones I can actually learn from or just have a really good recollection of from my childhood, right? So yeah. that's usually gaming historian and um, what's it called? Uh, uh, my life in gaming. Those are the like only guys I watch. Oh man, if I had a list, yeah. Lester, so I would put Triforce on my list for spelling Triforce the way yeah. it does. <laughs> No, I think in general what he means is just... Before, we actually used to watch a lot of YouTube, including yeah. myself. It just Including our Canadian rotation that I, I heavily watched more than Lester did in the first place. Even I don't have time to watch as much YouTube no. as I used to. It's like background noise, yeah. really. Or not like picking on 6 Price. Yeah. yeah. We're not picking on Mike B or anyone. Ah. <laughs> I called CJR uh, Hustle, Loyalty, Respect. John C. J. R. Yeah. <laughs> We're not picking on him. We're not, there's no animosity from us. I would love to have a... A beer with the guy, you know. Talk. Oh, I'd love to like talk with ever, homie. Yeah, if we ever went to the East Coast, oh man, yeah. I'd love to hang out with him. Cause I'm pretty sure, like, obviously your passion for things is the same thing as might be and everybody else in Canada, man. Like, as Canadians, like, I think we're more open to just hanging out with everybody. Yeah, that's the thing. 
So it's you no, know, I'd love to meet everybody. I so, want uh, I want might be the game genie to pile driver you. Exactly, man. Because he used to be a wrestler, slam. right? Yeah, exactly. I wanted to choke slam you. Hit me with a chair, man. <laughs> But yeah, don't please don't anyone think that there's heat or anything like yeah, that. No, no. It's all love on this Except channel. Except for uh, DC. Oh, <laughs> DC Redia. Uh, but he has a new name. <laughs> I don't even know if we're saying his first name right. Chris. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. Um, Homie Chris from yeah. a province away. But let we'll wait for that. We'll wait for that. <laughs> Gary Lester Clone was on your list. For no reason. Yeah, just for no reason. Just because he looks like you. I don't know. He, he's not on my list this week only because his TV broke and I felt very sad. Oh, no. His 50-inch TV that he Oh, on, no. Because I was supposed to work on his computer. I come over and he's like, man, guess what? I was like, what? My TV's broken. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I felt no. so bad. So this week, he is not on the list. Because you feel sorry for him. <laughs> hey, guys, we started a GoFundMe page for <laughs> Gary's TV. Yeah. Anything helps, 10 cents, 5. Just kidding, we did not start a GoFundMe. Go help me buy marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so Gary's off the list officially. You had put the staff at McDonald's and Ronald McDonald himself on your list because of their slow coffee. Yeah. What do you think about this one? You're still... No, to I haven't been to McDonald's in like weeks. So they're off the list? They're off the list. Damn Buck. Oh, okay. The actor. So the, who's the actor who plays him? I don't him, you even know. know. Shamrock. Okay, the next person on the list now from last week was the... What's the, what's the name of that Tupac movie? All Eyes on Me. And the actor who plays Tupac is I, on your list. Yeah, he's not on my list anymore. How but about, I do have someone in the... Someone close, like... Related to this topic? Oh, yeah, related to music. That's who do you want to add on this list? Huge. Now? Right now? Are yeah. we going to add people? Add him now if you want. Well, oh. he has to do with this topic, okay. right? Eminem, because of his facial hair, man. He's on my list. Have you seen him? He has facial hair now. Th that perturbs you? It perturbs me so much. I, I want to start that word. <laughs> so much. Eminem man. perturbs you with his facial... It's gross. ...with his grizzly hair. It's gross. Like what does it look like? You know Why is it bad? He, it just... I haven't seen it. I'll put a picture Eminem up. Eminem to me, man... You know how upset I was? Pointy nose. When I saw it? Pointed chin, blonde hair. No, but like it doesn't look what like it doesn't suit him. Even him without blonde hair is weird. Yeah, it's weird. But I respect him still. Yeah. To me he's still one of the best but MCs ever. Eminem, yeah, Eminem's on my list. But this facial is the funny hair. Thing. How about you say facial hair? Facial Eminem. Eminem. Yeah. Facial hair Eminem. Like, you know how upset I got? I got so upset that I had to like pop in the Marshall Mathers LP C D and just enjoy. I was not that upset because like all oh, this old Eminem, <laughs> so good. Okay, so Tupac movie is not on your radar anymore, but Eminem until he shaves his hair, shaves his face, shaves yeah. his face. All right, not yeah. his head hair. He, he's on the list. What about brown hair? Do you care about that? Oh no, no, that's fine. Okay, last week we had the wrestling marks led by DC Redia, or as he likes to be known now as DC Red Markia, <laughs> the leader. Of, so from now on, every time we refer to wrestling marks, like over. Over passionate wrestling fans, yeah. they're gonna be they're gonna be led by DC Redia. So the marks <laughs> led by DC Redia, yeah. led by Chris. <laughs> do you do you want to keep them on your list? He did make a snide comment. He did, and he, he did was say happy that he was on the list. No, felt so blessed, man. He he <laughs> sucked. He sent his uh, his cult against us, my fellow marks. Join this page or whatever. What called the BWO? <laughs> oh my god! The Job Squad, the Blue World Just Order. Really, but do you want to keep the wrestling stable. marks on your list? Yeah, sure. I man. say keep them. <laughs> I want to see what heat this generates. Jinder Mahal wasn't on your list last week. You, you chose to keep him. It's off. like it's like having Ken Shamrock in Bullet Club. It makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> that Can't that, rock, if eh? you made if you made like a list of like weird bullet club members if it just happened so it's like having steve blackman in bullet club what oh the my hell God. makes no sense man steve blackman would be the real cleaner so it'd be steve blackman dan severn uh ken shamrock oh, ryan shamrock <laughs> They'd be the shooters, you know? Yeah. That would be their club. The ones who could kick your ass for real. Yeah. So we're keeping the wrestling marks led by DC Redia on the list. Yeah, sure. Nice, nice. <laughs> he had perma-listed Tiger Woods. Oh, yeah, he's... Still on the list? Yeah, he's still on the list. Stephanie McMahon you had put on your list. Yeah, she, she can go. She's not on anymore? No, she's not. 
She didn't annoy you this week, did she? No, I didn't watch Raw. Well, well, last she week. hasn't been on, maybe yeah, that's no. why. Uh, Phil Kessel was on your list last week. Some hockey player never heard of. Um, is he still? On, did he still annoy you this week? No. Is he off now, Phil Kessel? Yeah, he's off. Uh, who annoys Amon me Shumpert? this week? Was Amon Shumpert on your list still this week? No. No, he's off your list he's now? He's off my list. Uh, for uh, Okay, I got some people, though. Sorry, oh, yeah, wanna, sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get to the people now. Because I have a really, I have a banger at the end, man. You have a banger? Yeah, I have a banger at, your list? at the end. I, got, I was so annoyed by this person. By this person. And I'm all like, man, because I saw it. Well, someone linked it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, this is a banger, man. We'll get to the people's <laughs> people's request first, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our our little homie from the states, Brian Esco, we call him Esco Monster, wants to know if you want to put Jeff Horn on the list. Uh, Jeff Horn. I have no idea who that is. Who's that? Oh, okay. Did you see the latest Manny Pacquiao fight? Oh, okay. Was he the guy fighting? The yeah, he was fighting kind of dirty, but he clear to me. I was when I was watching. He clearly lost, and the judges, I'm assuming from Australia. Gave the fight to him. Oh, CompuBox man, numbers that so sucks. that, you know, this is the biggest robbery since Mayweather won over Pacquiao. I'm sticking to it. Because right? you don't know who Jeff Horn is. No, I, I knew he there fought was a fight. the way he fought, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't watch the fight, so I can't really say. But as a Filipino, sure. <laughs> no, no. May I suggest humbly, Jeff Horn, it's not his fault. He's not a judge. He fought no. hard. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So the judges then are on the list. Australian judges. Sure, Australia, all of Australia. Even uh, what's his name? Who's from Australia? Sega of Sega my, house? my house. Man, you're on the list, bro. Your whole country. Sega of my Australia, led by Sega of my house, is on the list. You call this a knife? That's how it felt, man. <laughs> Sega of my house is on the list because he's the next commenter. He said I should be on your list for being a Ryu main. Like my main character is I know I don't. That's why he should be on the yeah, list. Yeah, he should be on the list. Twice. Man. Get your facts straight, son. Fake I'm a news. Guile main. Hashtag fake news. And Kyrene <laughs> main. Sega of my house is the perpetrator of fake news. <laughs> Him and his whole country is on your list. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Putting Amazing. a whole country on a list, eh? Oh, I can't wait for the blowback on that. Ooh, what the hell? What the... Gandalf. I don't know if you remember this guy. For a long time ago, I did oh. a trade with him. He wished Gandalf some random numbers at the end of his name. Yeah. He's a longtime YouTube friend, I guess you could say. I did a trade with him a while back. He wished us a happy 4th of July. Oh, great. I would say put him on your list. Why? Because we don't celebrate 4th of July in Canada. Maybe mm. he did it. I think he did it as a jab. Really? No, he's not on my list. Like, happy 4th of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want to put Gandalf on your list? No. Okay, well, still shout out to you, Gandalf. The wizard of retro games. <laughs> okay, that's the people who suggested things. That's the end of that oh, segment. Oh, that's it, eh? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna drop but Lester, bombs, man. drop your bomb. Man, you know what pissed me off, man? <laughs> Let it out, son! <laughs> Let it out, son! <laughs> the last gamers game room tour. That's on the list for me, man. Like, what are you gonna do with all that stuff? The last gamer. He's also... Is he he's on my list. He he's was already on the list country, because he's man. Australian, absolutely. Like, dude, like, that's just a Did, lot. Is that the first time you've like seen I, his game room? No. I've seen the, like, whatever rendition, but, like, the most recent yeah, one. Yeah, the one that's, like, two hours long. Holy balls, man. Like, what are you going to do with that? Like, I really hope you're, like, I forget the copying them or archiving it. Like, they're just sitting there. Like, that, I don't know. It's just too much. He's on my list. I'm not hating. It's cool. But at the same time, it's like, man, I don't know. I don't know, Lester. You sound a I little salty to me. I can't hate. Like, I can't hate, but at the same time, it's just like, man, she's sitting there. Okay, can I clarify? He's on your list, but is Jessica on your list? Who's Jessica? Jess, the girl that he co-hosts with. No, I don't know who she Protect is. Protect her. She's not on your list. Sure. Just just the last gamer, dude. Last gamer's on my list. One of the questions somebody asked him on his video is like, are you rich? And he's like, no. And you look at, he has a house specifically, an addition to a house. I don't know what it is. Probably, yeah. He built a thing on his house just to house his games. I'm not rich. He's probably not rich, but he's wealthy. There's a difference, man. We're talking about this. You don't think, well, how, you don't know him, so how no, can I you know. say? No, but think about it this way. You're... Your wealth, man. Those games, wealth. He did say he is asset rich. Yeah, exactly. That's wealth. But he doesn't necessarily yeah. have a lot of currency, maybe. Yeah. There's a difference. You could be wealthy in different ways. Like, we could own these two buildings. 
right? I know what you're saying. Yeah. I know what you mean. Some people who are asset rich are actually probably more richer than people who are rich with exactly. currency. But <laughs> the last gamer, no hate. No hate. Like, that's cool. Just jealousy. It's just straight jealousy. It's like, what are you going to do with all this, man? He is actually. It's like a museum. And that's the one thing that, like, I kind of hate about some collections. You walk in and I'm like, whoa. It's like you feel like you can't really touch any. I don't, honestly, Lester, I think you are wrong to put him okay. on your list. Fine. Can, can I tell you why? No, keep why? him on your list. <laughs> why, son? He plays, honestly, if he No, follows, he does. I'm he plays sure he a does. lot of yeah, games. I'm pretty sure he does. I don't mind that. I don't mind the fact that he lets his son touch everything. Yeah. He doesn't care. He's said on record, I guess. He doesn't care about the condition of the games he gets. Like, there are, you know, some people are so finicky. And that's when, to me, it's a museum, right? Just you want to show a recorded copy for himself. But right. he wanted to have, yeah, like, he doesn't, he lets his son play with it. If he sees something, he pulls out and plays. Him as a person. Oh, he's probably nice. I don't mind, yeah, as, I don't mind his collection. And he also fixes arcade machines and his new, I guess, vision of where he wants his, his collecting or his passion to, to go towards is building the ultimate arcade room. Restoring uh, arcade cabinets, mm -hmm. basically, and then he has a special house just built all for that shit. You know, one thing I think he should be on your list for. Mm -hmm. He calls it a games room with an S. Oh no, it's game. That's disgusting. The ultimate games <laughs> room. English? Do you speak it? <laughs> I'm kidding, but at the same time, put him on your list for yeah. He no, he is on my list. Games. Pure jealousy is like wow. Like me being a geek, man. I'd like he sounds salty. archive all that stuff man I'm, I'm sure like, he does oh <laughs> the Pure last jealousy, gamer hate, hate, hate. <laughs> comment below if you have anyone else you want to add to this list I think that's a good segment for the list of Lester we cleared the air on some things started more fires flamed a few yeah <laughs> ignited a whole country man oh like... okay you got 10 minutes to spare let's go to the flea market we won't record anything here, so if this is the last time we see you, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please give us a like, comment below in the description. Comment below in the comments. If you have anyone you want Lester to, to comment about, to add to his list, please put it below. Let us know. <laughs> Lester. It's funny, man, because this list is going to be ending up to be like one of those things where I'm just going to rip people. <laughs> it gives you that outlet creatively. To yeah. So. Watch uh, for you freaking basketball freaks uh on espn all the time watch like first take watch stephen a smith oh man he rips on everybody it's great that's all i watch on YouTube. stephen a. i like the way he says manny pacquiao yeah <laughs> i like those is like i've been in he tells he pulls out his phone eh? i've been in contact with floyd money mayweather <laughs> and he tells me yeah. like he's his homie or something yeah. right like, what sources i didn't hear any sources <laughs> All right, anyways, yeah. facebook.com forward slash fist brothers. Peace. I was uh, close to done with the DVD portion of Less Flix. <laughs> Man, I've been ripping all my shows and I ripped like all of it in the two days. Explain to people, what hours. is Less Flix? Oh, it's just a local home media network. It's been uh, a project of mine. And because I, got, I have two months of uh, vacation, I've been ripping all my stuff. Oh, I just started two days ago, but I ripped all my DVDs now. So the DVD portion's uh, finished. And like, it's crazy because you look at the list and it's like, wow, I got like TV shows that aren't on regular streaming devices or like, you know. Name some. Uh, Martin. In Canada, oh, yeah, you can't find Martin. Martin on Netflix. Did you know they had like, I don't know if it was a restraining order, but what was the girl's name again? Oh, Tisha. Yeah, yeah she wasn't allowed Mar to be with Martin yeah, in yeah. the same room or whatever. So they have to like film the episode where they're not together. Yeah. Yeah. Tisha. Everybody know about the Rainbow Road? <laughs> For people who've seen The Real Husbands of Hollywood, which is not on Netflix anymore. No, no. Dang See, it. and that's the thing. You go buy the physical copy, you can rip it on Great Home Network. I wish and no I company will ever tell you what to watch or, you know, control you, you again feed you stuff right so it's great you know what came out yesterday that i haven't even watched yet spider-man no yeah. oh, well oh. spider-man the movie did come out homecoming absolutely gotta watch that. watch that castlevania oh no castlevania i canceled my netflix <laughs> oh no way why did you watch it no i want to watch oh. it you know talking about some person on there yeah i didn't know i was like what the hell are you talking who's about? that guy <laughs>
Oh, A.V. Arad was on the executive producing team. I was like, what? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't uh, follow people who write things or... All I heard was Castlevania. I hope the music's there. Comment below if you've watched it. You know, we should, and I can say that. We man. should make a trading video, belt, son. We should. You're the best at thrift waller, anyways. <laughs> the highest ranking thrift waller. Punching, um, drinking freaking milk or uh, egg. The thing about you, Lester, I'm gonna say it on camera. <laughs> this is your problem. <laughs> you only like to learn on your own. Yeah, yeah. I don't you don't like help. to like study or have someone educate you. You want to figure. You want to discover. Yeah. On your own. What I've noticed for the majority of the world's players. They all use the same technique. They do. And they're studying, you know, what, what you know, successful hit ratios, which attacks are, are worth putting out there, which aren't, you know. And it's all the same almost, right? It is, yeah. It's like, I, well, maybe I'm just not professional enough to see the subtlest of nuances. But, but it's ebb and flow, though. That's the thing. Whatever's right. hot now is not going to be, they'll find a counter to that. Yeah. Would you be up to like I know some people in the fighting game community here to train you? Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> That'd I, be a good I played video. them the Tekken Seven. I played online. I almost won a tournament on an online tournament. I got second place. I won seven seven hundred thousand in video game money <laughs> for Tekken. I bought clothes with it. <laughs> the game was like, oh. but oh my god! But this is the thing. Dead. I wa me practicing. I'm, I am playing the ranked mode online Tekken. Yeah, but I'm, I'm on purposely I'm making it so I'm facing like the top players. I'm losing, which is fine. You're learning though. <laughs> yeah. You should get a DC Remarkia. Yeah. <laughs> this is, that was a comment. We're gonna respond to people's comments on our last video, calling out the chumps. Oh, I saw a guy locally with a Bullet Club shirt. I was gonna ask him. Did he get it at Hot Topic? <laughs> oh, is that what they yeah. sell it there? Oh, Hot okay. Topic I started thought... selling that shit now. Oh, okay, I was all like, I didn't know that, so. You know what, there's like, if you watch, like I watch wrestling, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I don't like to say I'm marking out for that stuff, but the really cool thing about the Bullet Club shirts, there's like logos for each person. Oh, so really? there's like the cleaner Bullet Club shirt. And his is, there's like uh, the American Nightmare, which is Cody Rhodes. He's, you know, the American Dream. But he's the American Nightmare, so his shirt is like the Bullet Club logo, but like American flag kind of oh, nice. touches to it. The Young Bucks have their own. I don't know if theirs is because I don't care about the Young Bucks. But Kenny Omega, that would be the fun shirt. He had like a, uh, a was it Joe Higashi? Who's it? From Tekken, the old guy with the hair. What's his old guy's name? Oh, Hayachi. Hayachi? Yeah. Yeah. They, he had like a version of the Bullet Club shirt with that guy, like inspired by Tekken. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get money for, for these games. BRB. Turn the AC down a bit here. <clears throat> Hi, Lester. Hi, Nathaniel. I noticed you're wearing an ODV shirt. I know, rest in peace. I'm cheap, I got this for 10 bucks. <laughs> At the shirt. outlet mall, man. That's awesome. The Echo Star is like, whoa, all this Wu-Tang stuff, 50% off, I'm there. I bought like two shirts. Did you but... notice they sell Wu-Tang at Walmart? Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, is it just the regular logo? Yeah, I just yeah. the oh, Wu-Tang okay. logo, like on a shirt yeah. and then a Wu-Tang hat. Oh, yeah. I'm very tempted to call out these kids, like Stolen Valor. Hey, what's your favorite Wu-Tang song? <laughs> um, um. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Lester knows. <laughs> <laughs>